Hello everybody and welcome back to RuneScape. A little notice at the start of this episode, I did have technical difficulties and lost maybe like two minutes of recording. I lost me getting my daily things, which did get me a lamp that got me Prayer 61, so that's nice. And I put some bonus experience into Slayer. Other than that, I'm not really sure anything else important happened, so just pretend that it happened. Now, uh, we were here because this week's update is the Slayer Belt update, which I will show you right here. The Slayer Belt is a pretty neat feature for slaying. It lets you add a variety of items so that you don't need them. It makes Slayer a lot less annoying, especially for lower levels. It's not as big of a deal for higher levels because most of those items back there, but it also adds the Bone Crusher, Seed Aside, Charming Imp, and Herbicide as potential things to add to there which all work just as you would expect. The only real annoyance is with Bone Crusher, you do have to go in here and toggle it off like this, which it'd be nice if they did add a Bone Crusher thing like they have for Herbicide, Incidicide, and Charming Imp, where you could choose which bones you wanted, or maybe just like a value, like any bones worth more than 500 GP pick up, something like that, but they have not done that yet, and they might never do that. Anyway, we're here because I do want to buy a salt shaker and a rock hammer and I might have already had a rock hammer, honestly. And I won't get an explosive shaker because there's a better one you can get, but I'll get an ice shaker. That's the one, but you have to fill it up. I'll get, apparently I can't get that or I can't use it. I think I must not be able to use it. A Slayer Bell. I don't know if I've ever used a Slayer Bell, honestly. But I'll have one for if I ever need it. I think that might be it out of items right there. So let's get these in. Yes, yes. I don't know why anyone would do things without the Tool Belt, honestly. This is so much better. Oh, really? I can't add it to my Tool Belt because of my Slayer level? That is lame. Whatever. I'll add it when I can, then. I'll have it in the bank forever and ever. I wonder why they did that. It is the reset time, so... Looks like I can't do... Where is it? Uh, Tears of Guthix. I have to gain 100,000 total experience or a quest point. And I guess I haven't? But that's gotta be wrong, because I did a quest. So how could I have not if I did a quest? So I guess maybe I did do it and forgot. I don't know. Who cares? Put that in there. So I think that's everything, though. Let's look here. Oh, yeah, I also activated that and got nine Terraman seeds, which I guess I can real quickly go and get another drop. Okay, I can't cut that tree. Come on, I'm trying to be quick, but there's nothing quick to do around here. Killing one of those guys would not be quick. So I'll run all the way out here. Okay, here's some trees. I'm going to be annoyed if I don't get one. Because I ran all the way over here just for this. So please be like 50k. Not double logs, apparently. Huh. Come on. Unless it uses an in-game clock to count down. Which would be annoying. I guess so, though. Well, let's get rid of these logs then. That's annoying. So you have to be logged in for the timer to go down. It's kind of annoying to have the ore timer not have that, but have the actual reward timer use that. I don't know why they would do that. Oh, well. Getting rid of these logs. But, yeah, I was going to look at the tool belt. I hope this doesn't make it stop training. I think it did. Okay, well, anyway, we have four items. We could add a crystal chime. We would add that if we had the level. We don't, though. Not gonna bother with explosive. Don't have one of those, and we do not have... You have to spend 500 Slayer points to unlock each one of these, and you also have to have the item, which I don't have any of these. I couldn't get seed aside. It would just require a lot of work for very little gain. Well, come on, get rid of these stupid logs. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, I like the Slayer update. I definitely think I'll be slaying a bit more often with it. Kind of. 
And I also really want to get us a Charming Imp now, just to reduce the amount of clicks. Oh, look at that. It appeared. Just in time, too, because we have less than a minute until it vanishes. Forever. We got... Ooh. Okay, what skill do I want? I've been putting it in farming lately, I think, so... Why not just keep doing farming? There we go. Okay, what is my current Slayer task, though? Let's look that up. There's a lot of things I want to do. I want to get woodcutting 60. I want to get attack 50. There's a lot of things and not enough time. The good news is, though, that this episode appears to be recording properly. Okay, Slayer Gym. Too bad you can't add the Slayer Gym to it somehow. That'd be nice. Kills left. Crocodiles, 24 more. Hmm, I wonder what crocodiles are weak to. I'd better look it up. So, forgive me, but I must type in a few things. I'm pretty sure I already fought these things, and they were probably weak to magic. Most likely, from what I remember. Yes, weakness, air spells. So I just need to load up my good old magic setup. As best as I can remember, at least. Okay, you, 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 you. Is that everything? I'm missing gloves. I should have split bark gloves, right? Yeah, there they are. Okay, is that everything? Um, looks that way. I don't have an item there or there. Well, I mean, I have one there, but not one I use. Which makes me think I haven't used enlightenment, but I can, and there's no reason not to. It'll give us double experience for 60 minutes, and it gives us, apparently, shiny wings. Well, fiery wings. Very, whoa. My eyes are crazy, too, apparently. That's interesting. Okay, so that's that. I just need to go ahead and... Well, I have a... I have a staff, don't I? Staff. Draymond staff. Draman, Draymon, whatever. Point is, I have one, and somewhere over here, there is a place I can use it. We're just going to head on over and kill, kill us some crocodiles. Hopefully, they're not too strong. I, I don't remember why I didn't just kill them off. Was it taking too long? Were they hitting me for too much? Was I just dying of thirst too fast? All these are possibilities. But as long as I have this, I can get over there fairly easily, right? Um, oh, that's right, I didn't actually go through all those, whoops, okay, well, we have a new goal then, we have to unlock all of these, it's gonna be adventure time, okay, we got AIQ, next one is AJQ, this is gonna take a while, sorry, but on the plus side, we get to see a lot of areas, okay, that was not... Oh, you have to do Death to the Dorishun, which I apparently haven't done. Okay, AJR. This is a good one. Especially for Slayer, I think. Oh, I pressed one too many times. Yeah, this one's good for Slayer, because you can run right in there and do some slaying. I used to use this one a lot back in the day. Not so much anymore, though. Okay, next up, AKQ. Uh, also a good one. We AKQ is the Pescatorus Hunter area. Very good for getting to the Monkfish area, for fishing Monkfish. Also for catching butterflies if you're very high level. After that is AKS. Which, um, what is AKS? Uh, jungle hunter area. This one would be good, I guess, for going to the jungle hunter area or to Ooglog. The, um, what it, where are they called? The Ogress. That's what they are. The Ogress area. Which I'm not sure if we've been to or not. We probably have. After that, ALP. It feels like all the A ones have a very, like, hunter hunter-specific feel to them. Okay, that was the wrong one. Oh, no, that was the right one, but you need to do a quest. Whoops, okay, A-L-Q. Oh, this one's 
almost where we were. It's just on the other side of Canifus. I'm not going to do all these, I've decided. Oh, that was a medium task, apparently. Well, that's good. We did something important. I'll do the last A one, and then we will get on with our actual stuff. And maybe next time I need a number, well, a combination, I'll do the next one. Yeah, this is McGrubber Woods. Another good place to go, I guess. If you need McGrubbers, you can chop them down there. Oh. Okay, that's a hard task, really? Why is it medium on one and hard on the other? It has the exact same difficulty. Whatever, okay, so we were going to the desert. I don't know which desert one we need to go to, so I'll just look up which ones are actually in the desert. Okay, well, there's BIQ, which is near the Calphites. That would be okay. Other than that, there is the Narda one, and that's it. Okay, we'll do BIQ, because it's it's there, I guess. The Narda one is, whoa, that was bright. Wow, that was a medium. I didn't realize there were so many of those until I actually did it. Okay, well, we unlocked a lot of things, apparently. I should probably look into finishing more tasks, but, oh, wow. We have not been in the desert very much, have we? Hmm. I could have sworn I've run through the desert, though, so how did I not have all those songs? I don't know. Unless I didn't go kill croco yes, crocodiles. Almost said the completely wrong word there by omitting one letter. Whoops. Uh, but yeah, I could have sworn we did kill some of them, though. I don't know how. I guess those songs are to the west side, and I only was on the eastern side of Shantae Pass. Or directly south. Who knows? Who cares? I unlocked a ton of songs. And now we have 512 out of 1042. Does that mean that I can use the... What is it called? Emote. What is that? Butterfly Dervish. That's such a nonsensical name. No, I guess we can't. I was thinking we could maybe use the air guitar. That's what it's called. But I guess not. Oh, wait, there it is right there. We can use it. Yep. I think it unlocks at 500, which is around the amount of songs that existed, I think, at the time it came out. Obviously, they've gone a bit crazy with the song since then. Okay, crocodiles, I feel like I've been here before, and what is going on there? Okay, yes, kill. Okay, yes, um... I still don't know what the deals with this divine storm. I should look it up, honestly. Oh, great. No, I want to kill one that's within attack range. Oh, apparently I can't use it. Prove myself against Collodian. But who's Collodian? Is that? I feel like. Hmm. I feel like these guys are really loud. That's what I feel. More than anything else. Okay, let me check my volume settings, please, game. There you go. No, they're correct, I think. That's how I've had my volume all this time. Oh well, let's just kill. Right, I was looking up Collodion to figure out who this guy is. Yeah, he's at the Major Arena. That's what I thought. I thought it was a Major Arena thing, but did I thought those spells required a staff, but I don't see any staff requirement listed there. Which it should, right? Well, no, they're not... Maybe they don't list staff requirements anymore? That'd be weird. Why would they do that? Oh well. Maybe you never needed a god staff, but I feel like you did. I guess I could look it up. It's what, Divine Storm, right? Huh. Oh, it's stronger if you use the thing. Okay. I think maybe we'll go unlock that, actually. I don't see any reason not to. Hey, look at that. We leveled up Slayer. Let's get over there. 
We are getting bonus experience from this aura. I think it's actual double experience. At the very least, a 50% increase. Nothing unlocked, though, just level 43. Back to the murder. I definitely want to make sure to use this at least once a week. It's probably better to use that than the other aura, the dwarven one. I'm taking some damage here. I need to turn this on. Make sure I get healed up because we don't want to have to leave. I forgot to bring my stupid uh, whatever thing. So yeah, you, if you are wearing your god cape and staff, then it's a stronger spell, but I think it should still be stronger, right? It, it does 576 damage. Uh, the, the wiki doesn't say what damage it does whenever it's not with the cape, so who knows if it's better or worse. They don't tell you. Air Blast, however, does 393. So, in theory, if it's okay, then it's actually as good as Airwave. Slightly worse, but almost. It's almost as good as Airwave. But at a lower level. Like, what What level is Airwave? Airwave... Oh, it's only 62. Well, in that case, who cares? I'll just get the level. We'd go do the circus and almost get that level right now, probably. And maybe we will. Probably not. Because we're killing crocodiles. But maybe once we're done with that, if we have the time, we can go do the circus. And unlock a new spell, which will be awesome. It's a non-insignificant increase in damage. I think it's like goes from like 300 something to almost 600. So probably about a 200 point increase in damage, which is nothing to laugh at there. And it's for free since we get unlimited air runes. It'll make us a lot tougher. I might try to kill some more quest bosses with that. Of course, I'm kind of working on certain specific quests right now important quests. Actually, I don't know what quests I'm working on. So who knows? Anything could happen. Let's get back to our levels, though. Yeah, we're making good progress here. How are we doing? All right, we're closest to defense, actually. Why am I training defense, though? I don't really want to train defense, do I? Like, when I'm training magic, I should just train magic. Or should I? I'm undecided on the matter right now. I am going to just sit here and let myself heal for a second because I am in desperate need of some health and I actually want to do this. Stupid walking on water crocodiles. Okay, apparently I'm not healing. Had I actually healed and not noticed while I was talking at one point? Probably. But point is we healed again and I'll already click it again. Or maybe it times out, who knows. It could be that they think if you don't do anything for five minutes that you're probably not going to want to heal anymore. And they'd be wrong. Choke to death. Force choke. Dead. This episode's kind of all over the place, isn't it? With me just not knowing really what I'm doing. Killing stuff. Talking about stuff. Killing more stuff. Taking a lot of damage from these stupid crocodiles. But hey, we're getting progress on magic, at least. Hooray! And hopefully this task will be done soon. I feel like it should be done soon. I feel like we've killed at least 15. Okay, I would feel like we've killed at least a lot. Who was I getting tasks from? I mean, what combat level am I? Uh, combat level is actually shown here now. I guess we can still get from Vanica. Right, Vanica? Yeah, must be Vanica. We'll go get a task from Vanica. Oh my gosh, look at how shiny I am. I guess I could go to the Mage Arena, though. Up in the deep, deep wilderness. It's kind of a crazy place, though. I don't really remember it. I'd probably want to go there when I have a bit more time than 10 minutes. So we won't. But we will someday, probably. If nothing else, just to get that 
checked off on the list of things I've done. Okay, let's get rid of this stuff, and what am I doing with all this junk? Bananas, I got iron bolts unfinished for some reason. Okay, well let's go get a new task from Vanica. Hopefully it'll be a good one. I want one that uses melee, actually, because I want to get attacked to 50. Because then we can get rune weaponry. And I think I might actually switch to rune maces instead of rune scimitars. Because while scimitars look a lot cooler and do the same damage per second at the same speed, the maces have a, I believe, they have a small prayer bonus. Maybe like plus four or something for the main hand, and I don't know about the offhand. The point is that it's the exact same damage and you get a little prayer bonus. Now, theoretically, maybe the two hands better. I've just never been a fan of two hands. So unless somebody can give me, like, some cold hard comparisons there, I'm not going to do it. Yes, I'm sure. I'll get a task from you for now. Killer Watts. Oh my gosh, I regret it instantly. Yeah, I said great. Okay, well, what are Killer Watts weak to? Please be melee, even though I know it's probably ranged. Killer Watt. Looking it up now. Killer Watts are weak to... Oh, they're actually weak to crush? Holy crap. Talk about luck. Okay, well... I think we can visit the Killer Watt plane. I don't think there's a quest requirement on that. I mean, it's related to a quest, kind of. Because it's in a quest... Quest-related area, the entrances. We need insulated boots. Killer Watts used to be a huge pain in the neck before EOC. I don't know how they are after EOC. I'm not sure if we fought them or not. But they did so much damage for their level, and the drops were nothing amazing, so they were terrible. I hated them so much. But hopefully they're not that bad anymore, or hopefully we're so high level that it doesn't even matter. We don't have insulated boots, so I think it's probably safe to say we've never actually fought them. Great. Um, well, in that case, I guess we gotta run back to Vanica and buy ourselves some stuff. No, that's not the skill I wanted. It's the same level, that's what confused me for some reason. What level is it for the things? Mutated Zagamites, level 57. Okay. Down we go. I think that's probably the level we can add the Fungicide Shaker. I didn't actually check that, but I kind of assume that's the case. I, I have to say, though, it's kind of ridiculous to have that requirement just to put an item on your tool belt. Like, just let us put it on there. It doesn't give us any advantage to have it on there if we can't actually kill them. I mean, why would you need Slayer Knowledge just to add an item to a belt in the first place? Which I guess you could say, then why do you need the Slayer Points, but whatever. That's because it'd be overpowered otherwise. To instantly have all those things with no effort, it'd be amazing and overpowered. Okay, boots, you get on. Well, actually, I'm going to need to change my entire wardrobe, aren't I? So we have to get our underused melee armor. I'm not even sure what my melee outfit is. I think mostly because I've been holding off on really caring about it until I get defense 50. Because then everything changes once you hit 50. It's a whole new kettle of fish. But come on, let's get up here. It's, uh, okay. Hopefully it's all in one spot somewhere. Melee training dump- really? Maybe I should use those. Okay, well I do know of course that my adamant scimitars are my melee weapons of choice, but what about the actual armor? Raffle ticket? Huh. Well, let's see. I have Varric armor. Please tell me it's not mithril armor. Please tell me I have adamant armor. I have a shield? No, it looks like mithril armor is my armor of choice. Kind of pathetic, really. Okay, well, Mithril Full Helm, Mithril Plate Body, Mithril Plate Legs. Apparently, we don't even have really any boots. 
at all. What are carapaces? It's ranged. I guess fighting boots, really? No, these war priest boots are better. Level 25? Shouldn't they be level 50? Or is that based on your defense level, not your combat level? I guess so. Man, I'm kind of pathetic when it comes to this. Okay, gloves. Ramja gloves are hybrid and maybe good. Ramja gloves, 12. What about gauntlets? The other G word that is not at all confusing to have. Okay, well, gloves is better than... As if two makes any difference whatsoever. Yeah, this is pathetic. I, I can't believe how much... Oh, wait. I didn't even need boots. Good job, me. But yeah, I can't even believe how mage-focused I've been. Where I don't even have even remotely relevant melee gear. Aside from my weapons. Okay, so... Bring this. And assuming that they do any damage like I might expect, I'm going to bring that. And let's go ahead and head on down there. I guess I'm not actually doing the circus or anything. All that stuff resets in a handful of hours or so at 24. So a bit more than a handful, unless you have one for each finger, in which case it is a handful of both hands. Um, I don't... What the heck? That's new. That's kind of ridiculous. I preferred it when it was just a weird little portal. But I guess that's part of the rework. Okay, well, I don't know that we're going to get any more levels from this. It's possible if the XP rate's insane with this bonus and stuff. I have to find my way there. It's been so long, I avoid this place because of all the bad memories. But I guess it's right up here. Okay. Whoa, that portal is really bright. Your dimensional rift. Yes, there's flashing lights. Yeah, I don't keep flickering effects because it's annoying. Don't show me this message again because I always keep them off. And I'll probably not be coming in here much. I think we were in here once before. I'm feeling like we were. I think we were a lot lower level, perhaps. Maybe not, though. The noises on these guys... Holy crap, those noises are terribly annoying. Not much experience, really. So that's, what, 8406? Beast Ashes, apparently. I should get a thing, an urn. Anyway, yes, it was 8406. And soon it will be... When it dies? Oh, I should... That'll help, I guess. Or is this one also melee? No. Okay, 8406. Oh, that's actually fairly decent. I'm not gonna bother with the ashes. Stormbrew. Actually, I'd never been here before. Good to know. I should remember that I can use the music to keep track of that stuff. It would save me a lot of confusion. So yeah, this is like some sort of weird dimension where clouds are solid. And that exists, which is not supposed to exist. That's because, as far as I know, RuneScape takes place on two dimensions, basically, in terms of programming. There's the... Well, actually, it's one, I think. It's basically one huge flat area. And when you go in a cave, you're actually just being teleported outside of the overworld map and to this place way off in the middle of nowhere where there's that, but they're all squeezed in next to each other because apparently they had limited space, probably a limited amount of X, Y, Z coordinates or whatever. This would be X, Y. But the point is, that's why you get stuff like caves being next to things like this. The reason why I revised it to uh, areas is because there is actual floors too, obviously, because you can go up and down. It's kind of like a separate area, and kind of not. And it's all weird. Let's kill this guy, though, real quick. Dead. So yeah, this is Killer Watts. We might continue slaying them in the next episode. I haven't yet decided 
we might go do woodcutting or Tears of Guthix or something else. But until then, this has been Kebab799. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to see more. Like this video if you liked it. Comment your thing to say. And I will see you in the next episode.